So here we are after day two of the fifth and final test match between India and England at the HPC uh, Stadium in Dharamsala. It was yet another dominating day for India. Uh, they got into the they got into got to bat on day one itself, but throughout day two we stuck to the plan and just batted and batted and batted through the day. We lost eight wickets, of course, but they still had two centurions and two more fifties as well. As India finished the day on four hundred and seventy three. For eight, a lead over 250 runs, it could well be an innings victory if England doesn't turn up in their second innings. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Fours and Sixes with me, Gomez. We'll go through all that happened on day two of the fifth test between India and England. Rohit and Gil started off as they always did. They hit Anderson out of the attack. It was just a three over spell early on. Gil, in particular, took liking to Bashir and Try to hit him every chance he got over the stands in the air because the altitude of the ball also travelled nicely in the air. And then Mark Wood came on, try to hurry on. So it as well as Gil, but these are two players who were not troubled by pace but rather sideways movement. There were a couple of uh, outside edges that two for four and Bashir got an inside edge of Rohit, which was dropped in short leg. But despite all that, this do your Rohit Sharma, who's already scored a century in. Raj scored, Gil scored a century in Vizag, they just batted, batted and batted in no trouble. It was, it was the kind of day England seemed to be out of plans. They were just going through the motions and uh, Rohit and Gil was not troubled at all as they continued to pile on runs. In the first session itself, both of them brought the, their respective centuries, their respective second of the series. Rohit brought his uh, century with a single, he just raised his bat, didn't even remove his helmet. It's been the case for a while now, whenever he got to a century. Gil is trademark cap in, against Spin and he was just good. Uh, he got on his knees, swept uh, just uh, Bashir into the stands to get to his century and then the regular celebrations where he take, took a bow into the... Uh, acknowledging the applause from the dressing room as well. And it was... This has been a stellar series for Shubman Gil. There has been the potential has always been there, but it is the series where he almost got dropped. If not for the Vizak century, he probably would have been dropped. And but then since then he has scored more than 450 runs. He has come of age a lot in the series against a challenging attack. Even though it is a home series, but in, if you if you had watched him bat throughout the series, you could have seen him grow as a test cricketer, as a test batter. Shortly after the lunch, Ben Stoke brought himself on for the first time in eight months. The last time he bowled was in the Lord's Test against Australia last year in July. 251 days was the number of days between the last time he bowled and today. The first ball, a perfect housing of the pitch on middle stump, sw swung away from Rohit Sharma to clip the off stump. It was, it, almost, it was almost as if somebody was writing the script for Ben Stokes, the bowler. And then the next, very next over, Jimmy Anderson came from the other end, swung the ball back into Gil and both both the Centurions were back in the hunt, but that didn't stop the other debutant. Dave the Padikal who went on to score a 50 and then Sarfraz Khan scored his 50. Even after they got out, the lower order pulled the Penzas Pekunda just batted through the day. Uh, India lost 8 wickets, but they have secured a 250 run lead. Uh, Bashir has taken 4 wickets so far. Uh, how much will he, be, will he be able to get his 5 for? Jimmy Anderson is on 699. Will he be able to get in the 700 mark? We will find out on day 3. But for now, India are running away with this game. It could well be a 4-1 and England will need another Oli Cook in Hyderabad kind of effort to get back into this game. Will they do? We'll find out in day 3. Until then, this is Gomez signing off. Thank you for watching.